what you guys today we're taking a look at how to back up your computer data and synchronize it uh, with another folder on another storage device maybe a nas drive or a external drive or wherever it is you want to store these files and you can sync the two folders in there so let's just say for instance we've got a folder full of images photos or whatever it may be that you want to back up could be documents could be any kind of data we've got a folder full of images here that we're going to be using uh, to sync to another location on our NAS drive or another location like an external drive we're going to be using free file sync here it's compatible with Windows Mac OS Linux and source we can use this software to synchronize between a source folder and a destination folder we can create a two-way backup or we can create a mirror backup loads of different options available with uh, free file sync so let's go ahead and get this installed onto the computer very simple uh, to get installed and set up now if you do have a regular folder that you like to drop files and documents into you can have these synced to even a network location like a NAS drive or an external drive or something along those lines so let's take a look at how this is going to work so we've got two files on our desktop we're going to open up the free file sync here this is the software up on the left hand side we've got new open save and save as and batch file this is going to allow us to uh, do all this a little bit later on as you can see here we've got some areas up here now on the left hand side this is the source area and on the right is your destination it says drag and drop and you can just drag and drop the location in here but we're just going to browse through the location and I'll show you how to set this up so first off let's hit the browse button and choose our source folder I'm going to choose this wallpaper folder here with some images in it now anytime that I add files to it it will automatically be updated on the destination folder this is great if you want to keep both areas updated so you've got another backup so let's go ahead and browse for our destination location here now this can be like I said on a NAS drive or an external drive or another drive that you have on a computer you just select it and then select the folder and you're good to go I'm not going to back up to my NAS drive in this location I'm just going to pick another drive that I have on the computer which is another drive it's not another partition it's another drive which I like to back up to so we've got our destination folder set and we've got our source folder set so what we need to do now is we need to go up to the cog next to compare here and click on this button here once we click on the cog you'll see that we can set a uh, file time and size this is going to allow us to identify equal files by comparing modifications time and size so basically what that means is if you make changes to a document it will automatically back that up if you set it up as a batch file you can also just click the synchronize button every so often and it will automatically back this up you can do it by file content or file size depending on what you want to set yours as I always use file time and size as mine set to this now we can go to the filter here you can set some filters up now the important one is the synchronization one you can do two way basically it says identify and propagate changes on both uh, sides so basically it will delete move or copy content from one to the other so two way action so whether you've got your source and destination you can copy both you can delete and move files you can set this up how you like I'm going to use the mirror one here where it creates a mirror backup from the left folder to the right folder it's that simple so you've got the update and the custom here I'm not going to cover this in this video we're just talking about mirror and that's the one I'm going to use you can use two-way if you wish we're going to be deleting files to the recycle bin if they get deleted here as you can see or you can delete them permanently on the fly so there's just no way of getting them back but I prefer to use the recycle bin just in case I make a mistake and I can recover that file so there we go that is now set you can also send email notifications once a backup has been done if you want to and you can also shut the PC down afterwards down the bottom here on completion you can do this as well now remember what I said we can set this up as a batch file where it will run automatically and do it every time that you're uh, changing making changes to those folders 
Okay, so we're all set. On the left-hand side, this little folder here is the stuff we're going to be backing up to our destination. So when we click compare, it will compare the two folders. And of course, on the left-hand side is our source. And on the right-hand side is our destination. There's a bunch of green arrows here telling us that the data is going to be copied across when we hit the synchronize or mirror button. And this is what's going to happen here. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how it works. Now you can remove some files if you wish, but I'm just going to hit the synchronize and it will synchronize the two here. So let's click on this one here, synchronize mirror, and it will then give us the uh, pop-up box here. You can say, uh, don't show me this again if you wish, and it will just go ahead and start the process next time. So we'll click start and over she goes. So there we are. We've now got an identical mirror of files over on our destination. That means we've now got a backup of the original folder called wallpaper very simple and easy to do so any changes that we make inside that wallpaper folder will automatically be updated on the uh, backup folder that we've got maybe on an external drive or something like that so it's exact mirror of what we have on the left hand side so let me just set this up so you can see uh, the images here so we can get an idea and they're exactly identical there we go and all we need to do now is I'm going to make some changes to the wallpaper folder, which is the source folder. And you'll see when I click the synchronize, it will automatically update. So I've got an image here, which I'm going to just drop inside here. And that is now inside there. And what we need to do now is we want to send this over to our backup area. So let me delete a file on that uh, backup area as well. If I deleted a file by mistake, and I wanted to create a text document here. I can do this also. And I'm just going to give it a little text message here saying hello. There we go. And we can now compare. And you can see there is a difference. That means it needs to copy some data over. Also, I deleted that file and it wants to put that file back. So let me go ahead and click on synchronize and mirror. There we go. And it's now copied those files over very quickly and easily and updated our destination folder it's that simple now you'll notice i'm doing this manually but don't worry i'm going to be showing you how to automate this so let's make a change to this text document here and put some text in here and then we're going to save this and this is in our wallpaper folder and it needs to be updated now you don't need to click on compare you can just synchronize and it will automatically change the destination folder for the text here let me just show you it's automatically updated that file because it noticed there was a difference in there. So if I add another change here on this, you'll see exactly what I mean. I'm going to save it and then we can see once we do this, it will update. So it's not updated yet, but as soon as you click on the synchronize, it will tell you that there is a change in that document. So there we go. It's now changed and updated. Very, very useful indeed. Now you can see we only have one location uh, backed up here, which is our wallpaper. But if you want to add another uh, source area, you just click on the plus here and add another source folder. And you can add as many as you like here. And basically, once you do that, you can add a different destination and it will do all of these jobs uh, for you. So a very, very useful little backup tool and it's called Free File Sync. Now, how do we automate this? Well, you can automate it. You can save the project as well by clicking on the save here, and this will save the project for you so you don't ever lose it. Now, to automate the whole process, you need to create a task schedule, and you can do this with a batch job. Up the top here, you'll see this little icon here. Click on it, and it will say save as batch job. You can create your batch job to run minimalized or whatever it is you want to do. And once you've done this, you can put the PC to sleep once it's backed up and you can set times and dates and how many days you want it to run for. So you can set yours as is. And once you've done this, click on the save as here and this will save the batch job. So whatever your settings are, you can change yours to how you like. I'm just going to leave this as default and save this to my desktop. When I save it to my desktop, you'll see it will create a little file here. And there it is there. So all we need to do now is create a task schedule and we can then use this file to create an automated backup. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that quickly. Open up the task schedule and we can basically open up the task scheduler here by clicking on it. 
And inside here, all we need to do is create a basic task. So let's go up to create a basic task. This will open up this window here, give it a name, call it whatever you like, whether you want to call it backup, call it, uh, you know, wallpapers, whatever it is you want to call yours, you can name it right here. So I'm just going to call it backup and then we'll just call it wallpaper inside the description so we know exactly what it is. And then we can go next and you can set this up for a trigger for daily, weekly, monthly, one time, whatever it is you want to do. And you can uh, recur every one day or whenever it is you want to recur it. You can set the start date and time. So set this up. And then you can also, once you get this set, you can also do some actions on here. Let me show you the next step here. So we're going to set this for this time here. Go next, action, start a program. So we need to navigate to free file sync. So just click the browse button here and it's in your program files. So let's go ahead and navigate to that location. C drive program files and then we can navigate the program inside here to let's see free file sync it should be in there it is there blind as a bat there we go and uh, click on bin it should be in the bin folder and there we are we're going to be going free file sync underscore x64 click open and now we need to add that batch job file that we created so let's go to the location of our batch job and there it is right there. I'm going to right click on the actual file and we're going to copy path. So wherever you've got yours located, right click on it and copy path. And then what we need to do is we're going to put it into this section here and you should see it right there. That's the path of it. And now all we need to do is click next and finish off the job. And that is the task now set. So once we've got this set, we're pretty much good to go. So let's click next and finish off. So now we've just created a basic task and this is going to run for the times we set it for. So basically once that's run, it's going to make a change. So I'm going to make a quick change to that folder and we'll see what happens when it makes a backup. It will just, because I've got it run minimalized, you won't see it, but you can have it running so you will visibly see it as a pop-up on your screen if you wanted to but I don't want to pop up on my screen. I just want this running in the background. So any changes, it will be automatically backed up. You can see I've got some files inside of the wallpaper section here, which I've added in, and these will hopefully be copied over to that location on the time that I've set it to back up to. So I'm going to go to the backup folder here and we'll see what happens. So I've let this run and now we can see Let's go back to our backup folder and there it is. All of them files have now been copied over in the background for me and it's been completely automated. Super easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very useful little tool and it's been out for a very long time, but it's a very useful tool to have, especially if you like to do photographs or maybe you've got some sort of backup folder you like to keep regularly backed up. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.